Cheers. <laughs> Why do you not say words when you cheers people? Salud. Salud. <laughs> Hey you guys, back on the couch and here with my friend and partner and boyfriend, Vincenzo Landino. All those roles, even the face of the behind the camera. Uh, the face behind the camera of the Savvy Sexy Social Videos. So we are going to make a fun video today because I wanted to just kind of have us chatting on the couch because you know how much I like drinking wine on the couch. And I found a really fun tag video for us to do because we're leaving for Alaska I'm tomorrow. I'm excited and I have no idea what I'm doing either. Like she said, we're doing a tag video. I, know. I don't know what a tag video is. I know. I thought it would be appropriate for us to do a travel tag. This one is called the Wanderlust tag. So I'm just gonna ask a bunch of questions that the YouTube creator gods wrote down. Okay. And that's the the rule. Wanderlust sounds like what I'm doing right now. That's right. In Ohio. That's right. Here we go. Your most treasured passport. Stamp. Wow, that's not a tough one. Tortola, British Virgin Islands. It was my first time out of the country and also probably the most beautiful location I've ever visited. It sounds pretty. The best part of Tortola is that there's nothing there. It, it, yeah. It's not overrun by tourism that and it's not nice. overrun by technology. Mm -hmm. But I actually am going to throw a twist into this and say the best and most what, what was it, favored Your or most treasured. most treasured stamp is the one I didn't get. And oh. that is the well, one. that was the recent one. Yeah, that was in Edinburgh, Scotland. So literally because me and Sarah went to Dublin, Ireland first, somehow when we flew from Dublin to Scotland um, in Edinburgh, they did not make us go through a different line because I guess we were already over here, so I didn't get my stamp, which that was the main destination of the whole trip, so I found that really funny. Well, here's to the one that got away. Yeah. We're gonna miss you. Number two, can you recite your passport number from memory? 5893004472? I don't know, I'm not really sure. I don't know that I should publish that on the internet. <laughs> you can, because it's wrong. Yeah, I don't have a clue. Number three, your preferred method of travel, be it planes, trains, or automobiles. I love to fly. Mm -hmm. I do. It's amazing. You can be anywhere in a relatively short amount of time, but there's something about driving. I mean driving. Not like your little automatic station wagon. I'm talking about driving like He's getting judgmental a on sports you car. <laughs> Those of you with station wagons. Actually driving a car. If it's mm. purely for transport, throw me in an Uber. Mm -hmm. But when I want to drive a car to like feel. But like if it's for travel. If it's for travel. You're not going to be driving really hard like for the entire. For travel, if I'm traveling specifically, I prefer a plane and then follow it up with with you know Uber if we are somewhere in the U.S. Yeah. So when, obviously when you're outside though, it's out, out of the U.S. or you're in some remote area like in Tortola, I prefer to walk mm -hmm. or hike. I just love to fly. I can just not think of anything better than getting somewhere in four hours or less, pretty much anywhere in the United States, except for, of course, Hawaii and Alaska. Um, oddly enough, because we're flying to Alaska tomorrow, it's much longer than that. It's fascinating to me that I was able to get to Cebu in the Philippines with a quick stop in Hong Kong in 24 hours. Like, that's just fascinating to me that you can get somewhere so quickly anywhere in the world. Like, it just makes it seem Relative like so it. much as possible. Cool. Top three travel items. This is so My fun. camera. Yeah. Duh. Same here. My phone. Yeah. Let's like not include the phone though, because I feel like that's obvious for most people. Aside from electronics or just uh, no No, no, phone. no, camera's fine, but like what are the other two? My comb. Duh. I don't know, this is tough. I, I, it's hard for me to get away from electronics, but I feel like I don't leave the house definitely while traveling, but at all without a mobile charger for my phone. For real though, she doesn't leave without that damn charger. No, I really don't. I really don't. It weighs like It's 10 like a 10 pound too. charger, but yeah. I'm always like, yo, hook me up with some juice. Yeah, you have two cords. We gotta make you sure we can both cords. charge. <laughs> this is still hard. I still can't think of a third one. I would definitely have to say um, lotion because it goes hand in hand with like flying a lot and mm. just like sometimes you can't always wash your hands. I know it's not the same thing, but like when my hands start to feel really gross, I can't at least put lotion on. It's probably one of the worst feelings next to just needing a glass of water or something. Sunglasses. I oh, always forget 
my sunglasses. You do, you always forget. That's a good one. Hostel or hotel? You know, I'm a hotel guy yeah. all the way versus hostel, but from what I hear, hostels aren't, as, aren't that bad anymore. You seem like someone that would try a hostel. Oh, I would, oh, I would definitely try it. I just prefer all the accoutrements of a hotel yeah. when I'm traveling like that. Of course, if I'm backpacking the Andes, a different story. Yeah, you know, when you're backpacking in the Andes. Or I'm climbing Everest, well, I'm not expecting a hotel. But I am. As a matter of fact, I'm like so, I don't know what it is, but like I'm expecting so much with a hotel. When I travel internationally, I just completely forget that I don't even have the right plugs for all the things that I bring because I just assume everything's going to be set up for me. It's probably a bad habit to be I think in, it's the but... way we travel too because yeah. we travel a lot for business and we're usually speaking somewhere yeah. or working with clients and I, I think there's a difference between traveling in that light or traveling for fun. Are you a repeat visitor or do you like to explore new places? Ooh, this is good. I love new places. If yeah. I can go to a new place every time I go somewhere, I would. I think I'm I'm happy to go to new places because even if I'm going back to a place I've been before, I'm really good at just like forgetting a lot of stuff. If it wasn't like super memorable to me, I might not have fully taken it in the first time. So going back and having like a new appreciation for the same place, I could see that, but it's basically like visiting a new place for me. Do you read up on your location before you go? Culture, history, attractions, or do you wing it? Well, you know me, I, mm -hmm. I wing a lot of things. Yeah, um, it wings a lot of things. But if it's somewhere completely new that I have no idea, I'll do a little bit of research yeah. so I know. I try to look up the things that are bothering me or keeping me up at night. I don't tend to, to look up like, where should I go to eat? Or do you Google what, that? What? I, what? Do you Google it? Yeah. Google. Google. Google pretty much is Google. like the place to be. So I pretty much Google anything if I'm like, oh, I wonder if this is gonna be the case or I wonder if I'm gonna have to worry about this or, you know, I really think about logistics, so I'll look that stuff up and then I pretty much wing it when I get there. As much as I am a planner, I'm not really a planner yeah. around travel. I would love to just like stumble upon stuff and have it happen that way. Favorite travel website? I don't know if I have one. I think I just, I, my favorite travel website is TripIt because it keeps all of my itineraries in order. Honestly, like it's prop, it's a godsend. That that. TripIt. I don't know what else it really does for you travel wise. Oh my gosh. Money. It's I pay for the pro just so that it'll. It, I get blown up by TripIt. Should we drink the TripIt? Yes. All right. I get blown up trip by it. whenever there's a flight delay, and I love 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 that feature. I'm always in the know. I don't have to wait for the airline to tell me what's going on. It's great. Where would you recommend? recommend a friend to visit? A place that you've been, a city that you would recommend? I would say Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, I thought you were gonna say that. I agree Charleston, with you. Charleston, South Carolina, we had a lovely trip in Charleston, South Carolina. It was Carolina. lovely. The food. The food is ridiculous. Is insane. The ridiculous. Food is great. Yeah. I would send my friend to Dublin, Ireland, because I don't think you can go wrong with that recommendation. We were only there for a couple of days, but I had so much fun. I really regretted that we weren't staying longer and I'm going back. Also, it's my heritage. I think I'm a little bit partial because of that, but I would totally send a friend to Dublin, Ireland. You're leaving tomorrow. Which I am. We are. Money is no object. Where are you going? Somewhere in the South Pacific. I don't know where. Hmm. Maybe Thailand. I think because I've been wanting to go to other places in Europe for a long time, I would say some combination of, of um, France and Italy. Mm, I kind of okay. want to do like a combo trip. Like a south of France or a Paris France? All of it. Or I want to do all the Frances. I'd go to Normandy if I went to France because duh, history. Right. We could knock all of that out in one. Like how cool would that, and money's no object. Well, I would do there, all the we things. we should go to Greece too. Exactly, include that. Greece, Italy, France, bam, bam. Okay, so this was the Wanderlust tag. We wanna tag a couple of people. Who are we gonna tag to do this video? Is it hashtag? No, no it's, it's oh, just it's a, a tag. tag. It's like the OG like of tag tags. <laughs> Let's tag another couple to do the Wanderlust travel tag. Who should it be? Jason Yarbrough, whose channel is Yarby and Samantha White, his girlfriend. I will link to Yarby's channel because I know that I will totally be watching that if they do this tag. So 
Go watch Yarby and Sam if they do this tag. Also, they'll do it. I wanted to point out that Vincenzo has his channel. Go check out the Millennial Gent series. He just posted a great video called What's in My Camera Bag, kind of a glimpse into what we're going to be traveling with to Alaska. And we're also doing a giveaway, $25 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is be subscribed to both of our YouTube channels and leave a comment on his camera bag video saying, hey, Amy sent me. We're gonna use the word Amy to track potential winners. Amy. That's right, and we will announce the winner on his channel. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for drinking with me. It's a pleasure. See you in Alaska. Ciao. Bye.